morning everyone. Well, the world's working. It's all happening so fast, isn't it? I was listening to something by the WHO in the last few days and once again they are talking about mandatory, which is very interesting, going into people's homes and getting people out who could potentially be infected and mandating uh, things that have never been mandated before. So a year ago when people were saying this, everyone was like, no, this is crazy, they'll never do that. They'll never put things into us where we can be tracking our own in here in Australia, our own health ministers, our own people have been talking about the potential for uh, things in underneath the skin and sort of talking about having the passports on there and talking about being able to uh, move around the world freely once you've had your thing. So there were a couple of articles I've listened to in the last few days that I want to uh, sort of mention so that you can go find these. But one of them, uh, Dr. Sherry T, she wrote an article called The 20 Mechanisms of Injury. And of course, some of these new side effects that we're seeing have only been happening recently because as she pointed out, it takes about four to five months after the first dose for the proteins, so the little spike proteins, to be created in the body. And then it takes another four to five months after the second one for the antibodies to be created in the body. So this takes some time to see the effects. Meanwhile, the websites around the world, the Vayas websites, they're three months behind. So one of her good friends, she put on a serious adverse event and it took three months for it to appear in the Vayas website. So what are the real numbers? So this isn't about fear. This is about opening your eyes. This is about looking at things. I've been obviously the whole time trying to find out what we can do to protect ourselves from uh, the bug itself, what we can do to protect ourselves from, and now what we can do to protect ourselves from those who may be shedding after. So there's, and there's information coming out all of the time, but I think one of the big things we need to do is keep ourselves safe, keep our, our immunity up. Uh, once again, I've made that decision in my clinic not to touch clients who have had, uh, so I'll only be doing consults with them and uh so i won't be i won't be doing hands-on treatments for those people because i simply like it's one thing if i get anything we just don't know the long-term effects of that long term we don't know the effects and i've got too many ill loved ones that i'm not going to be a part of that anyway so the meditation is going to be about body sovereignty releasing the fear because this fear is the fear shame guilt that has been spread around the world for the last 15 months is astronomical it's people's new god it's people's new belief system it's people's new everything and every time you're getting into that fear you're releasing your fear hormones it's a real addiction it's that addiction of fear that's getting in there and it's messing with the brain. It shuts down your co conscious thinking. It stops you being able to think like a human being, to look after yourself, to trust your immunity, to trust your own intuition, to trust the humans and the people around you. Humans are not evil. Humans are not bad. Humans are meant to be in our environment. We're meant to hug. We're meant to touch. We're meant to be part of this dialogue. We're supposed to be able to question things. And of course, that God-given right has been taken away from us. Body sovereignty, that's what it's about. Releasing the fear, releasing the shame, releasing the guilt. Owning your body sovereignty, owning your ability to consciously and critically think. Paying attention to what's junk science, paying attention to those who are paying and getting money from the whole narrative. Who's making the money out of this? It's not you and me. So, you know, there's that old thing, follow the money, follow the money, follow the money. You know, get onto these websites, greenmedicineinfo.com, get onto the childrenshealthdefense.com, get onto uh, thehighwire.com. 
get onto good websites where drmccola.com sort of sort of have a look at the headlines every day just look at the headlines start to open that mind don't read anything if that's too stressful for you when you're locked in the fear everything is too much but even just seeing the headlines you know can really uh, just start to open your mind open your mind to the possibility that there's something bigger going on. Okay, take care. I'll uh, do the meditation.